Hello. If one more person asks me about... Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Are you sure Catrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Catherine. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. Why would Catrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place, resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer, or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. I should be going now. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Crattering all... Off your face, she will. I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Revelio. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. More gold. I must be getting closer. Be quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> Rebellion. I should investigate. For a bit of dying, are we? Uh. Revelio.
a niffler. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Rebellion. Haggerty family heirloom. Huh. Revelio. His sister wasn't the thief, and his heirloom's coming home. Absolutely shameless. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well. If you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. I suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I got my heirloom back. Fascinating trip. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do?
This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Revelio. Why are there so many vases around here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases. I think there should only be a few more vases. Revelio. One more vase. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. that travel broadens the mind. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. I can't go back there. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is, as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Now, where could that Acromantula cave be? They teach the... I can't figure out why there's such a fuck level. must be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in it. Ascender! Accio! 
Leviosa. Arresto momentum. Confringo. Confringo. Incendio. Bombarda. Rebellio. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Confringo! Revelio. Milo's daughter. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. Ah, uh, you look none the worse for wear. Oh, I take it you decided again. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend and I shall miss him. Please, uh, accept this reward for your trouble. I should be going now. Thank you. Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember him by.
Is someone down there? Down there? I beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me. <coughs> Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> he caught. If you could please take it. <coughs> Seems to be some sort of map. There's something about that tree. Levioso! Interesting way to hide some treasure. Our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. If he thinks he's getting away with this, he has a Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. 
I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Rebellion. Ah, the bells must be upstairs. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. In Guardian Leviosa, perhaps. Teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not covered up. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. a moment I could use your help you wanted to speak with me I did hello I'm Duncan Hobhouse pleasure to meet you I've heard all about you of course confronting trolls and dragons that's nice to hear I have had my share of adventure 
I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumour has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. 
Lumos. Depulsor. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Revelio. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. You all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles grand game, and if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I should think 
there's an entire ward in the bunk. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion! Accio! Rebellion! Accio! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobs. What if he sticks like this? What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! <laughs> Revelio! <laughs> Accio! Revelio! Accio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gob... Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> 